This weekend, after having been completely slighted in two different debates, Andrew Yang finally put his foot down with MSNBC. You know, Wolf, all I can say is I miss CNN moderating these debates. <laughs> As somebody who's a, 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 a staunch critic of the media, man, I felt and an, an, it was a wonderful high when I saw these tweets from Andrew Yang, who just nuked MSNBC from orbit. He said, they think we need them. We don't. The media has consistently been biased against Tulsi Gabbard, Andrew Yang, Bernie Sanders. And of course, for most of you, you know, they're always biased against Trump. Andrew Yang, on the other hand, hey, he's a Democrat. They should support him. You are with us tonight, but I'd be remiss if I did not mention that you were also invited on MSNBC this weekend. And you turned down that invitation and instead took to Twitter to slam the network, a decision that could be seen as risky during a Democratic primary. And I want to give a shout out to you and your colleagues at CNN, where I said to Wolf Blitzer just yesterday, I missed having you all moderate the debate because you called it right up the middle. You gave us substantive questions. We had real conversations and exchanges about automation in the 21st century economy. So really just full credit to CNN for your professionalism uh, and journalistic integrity. So that brings me back to Andrew Yang. Now, some of you will object to calling him progressive. That's fine. But there's no doubt that his ideas fall outside of the spectrum of pre-approved acceptable ideas. And there's also no doubt that his candidacy challenges those in the party who want to maintain control over the acceptable pathways and trajectories to power. If Andrew Yang can be successful, already besting senators, governors, and congressmen, then the party is exposed as the impotent, hollowed-out shell that it actually is. So don't get your hopes up about that. Andrew's apologies from MSNBC is going to be forthcoming, after all. Why apologize when they are doing exactly what they intended to do? The Trump era has been clarifying in so many ways. I think every real progressive now knows that MSNBC is not their friend. And as Yang put it so cuttingly, they think we need them. We don't. How's it hanging, dudes? My name is Sean. Welcome back to my channel where we put humanity first and we poke a little fun at the mainstream media while doing it. And man, is the boycott MSNBC working? Oh man, it's oh, it makes me salivate. It really does. It's so to for us to make such an impact. Um, as of August, M MSNBC's views were actually down. Their overall ratings, right? And um, it's only getting worse, especially within this short time frame after they've been pretty much uh, pretending like Yang doesn't exist, right? Um, MSNBC, which leans left at night, <laughs> appears to be losing steam right now among adults 25 to 54. That's the biggest target demographic, the biggest. In addition to falling short to CNN, which also moved past Fox News in August thanks to primetime primary debate, MSNBC continues to fall behind CNN in the demo across total day, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. is what I think that's a typo. In fact, August marked MSNBC's lowest rated primetime and a third lowest total day since Trump took office. The network was negative 20% in primetime viewers, negative 35% in primetime demo, negative 16% in total day viewers, and negative 34% in total day demo versus what the network averaged in August of 2018. Because they were chasing that Trump bump, you know what I mean? They and CNN um, just covered Trump only. They ignored other candidates. They helped the DNC shaft Bernie, and then Bernie turned around and supported Hillary like a dumbass. And, but anyways, you know, and ever since it's been Orange Man bad and Russia, 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 it's been going down. And now that they're obviously choosing to ignore uh, Andrew Yang, who has a significant following, he's actually um, in a trajectory above where Bernie Sanders was this same time in the last uh, election. So for anybody who doubts him, you're pretty much saying uh, why Bernie's on stage right now. You know, what I mean, he's 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 a he's one of the front runners right now. Why is that? And on top of that, he's losing steam and losing ground because most Trump, most people who was voting for him went to Trump or stayed home because he supported Hillary. He's not going to be able to get that target uh, group back. Most of them are even going to Tulsi, going to Yang or staying with Trump or just not voting at all. And Tulsi and Yang are just absorbing all of those voters. Right. So. And Maddow, Rachel Maddow even finished fifth place in total viewers in the second month in a row. Oh, next to Tucker Carlson tonight. And you know the reason why is, yeah, Tucker Carlson and Hannity, they're, they're obviously um, right-leaning. They make no bones about that. 
But when it comes down to it, they also call out certain things that are wrong. Just because they're right wing doesn't make them necessarily wrong all the time, right? Tucker Carlson has had uh, Andrew Yang on his show plenty of times. MSNBC, every time they do, they either smear him with white nationalist claims or they just don't. They just pretend like he doesn't exist. It's crazy. To the point where um, uh, even Tim Pool was defending Andrew Yang. And Tim Pool's even a friend uh, of right leaning Stick he- Sticks Hexenhammer. And Sticks down here says, You're irrelevant, Yang. Just face it. Pretending to be persecuted when you're running in a distant sixth place is pretty cringe. Now, um, he's also made a video about Yang and how Business Insider doesn't like UBI. You know, <laughs> no kidding. It's an establishment uh, pro corporation uh, entity. <laughs> you know, what? <laughs> but uh, I, w- I can't make a rebuttal to that if you guys want to. But even Tim. Um, defends Yang and disagrees with Hexenhammer, even if he is in a distant sixth place, which, uh, um, you know, Bernie was about to overlap Hillary months later after this, so Yang is just right on trajectory. Now, uh, for good for good measure, I will include this response from Stix Hexenhammer, who I, I have uh, respect for. He's a YouTuber. And he said, you're irrelevant, Yang. Just face it. Pretending to be persecuted when you're running in a distant sixth place is pretty cringe. I disagree, good sir Stix. Andrew Yang is likely not going to win. I can respect that. But come on, man. The media is biased and we all know it. Okay, you don't got to be a fan of Yang. That's fine. But this is not made up persecution. This is the media towing the line for the establishment every step of the way. Now, they give Bernie some slack, but they do leave him out of graphics too. They're clearly trying to prop up the crony establishment players. After the years of complete insane BS from MSNBC having to do with Russia nonsense, I welcome any and all individuals to drop the hammer and nuke them from or, or nuke them from orbit. Tim Pool defends him. Tim Pool is some people call him right leaning. He's really just a um, like a classical liberal. You know what I mean? Just somebody who who's a free speech absolutist and stuff like that. But he's pretty much milk toast centrist. He doesn't really take a side. He really goes calls it right down the middle. Tells you both both areas. Of it. But one thing he is one hundred percent against is censorship, and that's exactly what they're doing to Andrew Yang because he has real solutions, real policies that both the right and the left can get behind, and that scares the crap out of MSNBC. There has been polls showing that Yang is the only one who can actually defeat Donald Trump in a head-to-head general election because he has less things to attacking for. Um, so yeah, and then, um, he also, Tim Pool also was uh, talking about how uh, Obama is technically a conservative now because the, the Democratic Party has moved so far left with all these identity pro- uh, politics and, and Me Too, woke, cancel culture type stuff, right? They've just alienated half of their own party. And, and this is just 2016. You can see how, you know, they were pretty much regular, um, just regular uh, liberals and now they're so far left they're saying like men can minister you know what I mean it's, it's bad it's just getting bad and, uh, and and MSNBC only furthers the divide they really do and you know when you're this close uh, and Republicans are seeming like normal people to um, a liberal base why wouldn't they uh, go to Yang or Tulsi who is a lot more centrist and a lot more common uh, common minded with the people they're more they're, they're less left you know what I mean they're not going to go uh, completely socialist just because it's you get brownie points from the left party you know what I mean it's kind of sad but uh but MSNBC contributes to this and it's also a reason why Yang is doing so well because nobody wants Elizabeth Warren's uh Medicare mandate nobody wants that they really don't 59 percent of American politics every poll shows upwards of 50 percent of the people do not want that um and MSNBC continues to uh to just not address Yang at all. They haven't apologized to him. They haven't said anything to him. Yang is going all over CNN and other places, Fox News, talking to Wolf Blitz or other people and telling them how, how you know, giving them credit where credit's due and how MSNBC is completely, it's it's sad. I mean, there's, there's protests that are, um, that are sprouting up and people are organizing protests. People are going after their advertisers. Teespring even came out and said that, uh, that don't worry that they don't uh, advertise on MSNBC and that is just it's so the in the in the campaign Yang campaign is actually gearing up to fight this long battle with MSNBC they don't need them just like Yang said um, I don't know if y'all seen that that tweet but uh, yeah you, they think we need them we don't and Yang even went on to say I didn't I should have read the rest of this and uh, 
the one where I, where I covered this in my, in my video a while back, which was just kind of a short video. But they, yeah, they've omitted him from 12 plus graphics, called him John Yang on air, and given him a fraction of the speaking time over two debates, despite polling higher than other candidates on stage, at the same time showing graphics of those lower candidates uh, without Yang uh, above them, or even on the graphic at all. At some point, you have to call it. The whole time we have gotten stronger, this is actually bad for MSNBC. It will only get worse after I make the next debates and keep rising in the polls. The people are smarter than MSC would like to thank. Oh my God, it's so great. That is just so great. So where was I? Okay, yeah, on Jimmy Dore, um, he goes to show how, um, on this video here, shout out to him, how Michael Moore is usually a a a, a, liber, a bastion of liberal hope. You know what I mean? Michael Moore disagree with him or not. He's he's normally um, uh, makes sense when it comes to left leaning politics. He calls out the media, but for some reason he hasn't been calling out MSNBC, and he sits there and piles on um, with these McCarthy smears on Tulsi. But what I want to uh, point to is while they are you know doing this whole uh, Russia, 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 and and Tulsi is a Kremlin -y, is what <laughs> fucking. Joy Reid says, notice the um, the little signs behind them. See how Pete is just so big and even Amy's a little bit bigger. Uh, you got Biden right here. Even Tulsi's kind of like up here where you really can't see it, but it's kind of there. You got Corey, you got Bernie, you got another another Tulsi, actually, believe it or not. Um, Kamala Harris right there. All these people. <laughs> and then guess what? Right behind them, a graphic where they have plenty of space to make it bigger. Very, very small is Yang's graphic. And there's all, and every single time I've watched them MSNBC and this pops up, this little graphic behind them, it's always placed to where you can't see Yang's graphic whatsoever. You know, a lot of people have been criticizing them for putting red uh, graphics situating Yang and Tulsi on the debate stage with the red graphic uh, behind them to make them look, you know, like a red smear, like, you know, a Russian asset or, or communist asset or something like that, or like China, you know what I mean? Like they're trying to do that and it's getting sad. It's getting so sad. So props to everybody who's been covering this. Um, it's blowing up. Yang's uh, search results are spiking through the roof. MS MSNBC is just getting just hammered left and right, left and right. And it is glorious guys. It is glorious. So keep up the fight. Um, in Illinois, I think it is. Um, let me just go back to my channel so we can. But uh, in Illinois, I think it is. Uh, Yang needs 3,000 signatures to get on the ballot there. So anybody who's close to that area, go out there, sign the petition, um, go on Yang's website. They show you how to do that. We need to be we need to be ever vigilant, especially on those little bitty things that don't take very much to to accomplish. You know what I mean? So make sure we get on that, guys. But also, the screenshot I forgot to show. MSNBC Andrew Yang is the third search result. So MSNBC cannot they can not pretend like this isn't a thing, like it doesn't exist. And it's only going to get worse for them. Um, and uh, yeah, if and if we do have a left leaning president, and it happens to be Andrew Yang. MSNBC is going to have to be friendly to him because they're a left-leaning, albeit you know, pro-war uh, outlet. So it's a uh, which is the reason why they don't like Tulsi. But it's it's just uh, it's it's so satisfying. It really is. And I'm sorry I've been rambling, but I'm so excited for this, and I've been late to get this video up, anyways. So I do appreciate you guys. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have a second video up today or not, like or anything like that. But uh. Um, I might have a little funny video for Thanksgiving coming out here in a day or so. I don't know. Uh, also, if you guys want to go hang out with Discord, uh, my Discord, it's right here. It's called the Echo Chamber, appropriately named because we're all fans of Yang. You know what I'm saying? We just bounce the same ideas off each other. Um, so, yeah, make sure you click Echo Chamber and uh, come out, hang out, hang out with us in Discord. We're ha we have a good time. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, uh, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. But yeah, guys, it's a uh, it, it's it's getting real, and we're and we're doing real good. So keep up the fight, guys. Keep uh keep targeting those advertisers. Don't stop. You know, people want to say that that Yang isn't polling high. Well, it's because most of his support is in that key demographic who isn't necessarily have landline phones. And then out of maybe a hundred thousand landline polling calls, you might have three hundred people who actually answer. Um, so. Don't believe the polling. You know, polling was wrong last time where CNN kept saying that Hillary is going to smash Donald Trump, smash Donald Trump. All the polls say that. All the polls say that. And then it wasn't It wasn't the case. It, it just wasn't the case. Donald Trump won. You can call it popular vote, electoral vote, whatever you want to call it. Donald Trump still won. And they, they, they 
faked the narrative and they're doing that again they did it to bernie unfortunately bernie turned around and and supported the establishment who cheated him out so that just ruins his shot at, at the president and anybody who does get into the general election donald trump is going to eat him alive for supporting uh Hillary, uh, he's going to say things like, "You had your chance. You could have beat me then, but you folded." You know what I mean? You supported the the DNC for cheating you out of the race. So it's it's awesome to think that uh, that you know uh, that we're actually making this big of an impact. So keep fighting, guys. Don't stop. And uh, I'll catch you next upload or tomorrow. I'm not sure. Anyways, have a good one.